Many times on a historical building, you do instantly know when you walk in that this feels right. I can do this. And when you see the right space, for me, the wheels turn, the vision comes. Today's guest does not want to stay in their room like the guest of, of the past. So they want to be a part of activity, even if that means they have their headphones on and they're on their iPad. They want to be there and be in the middle of the energy. So when we're designing our hotels today, we take a different approach to them. We look at how is this going to engage my guest? How am I going to create a place where they want to be? We've got to create the good meal, the good drink, the right ambiance, the right social group where you don't feel too crowded, but yet you don't feel like you're there by yourself. A lot of times the historical buildings have, have limitations or opportunities. And so we, we can quickly see if it's the right space to do what we're looking for, to create that interactive space. Uh, when you're building a new building, it's so easy because you design it. You know, you, you design it to make it relevant and you design it and know what right looks like. But with an older building, it's how do you create that? How do you make this come to life with, with, with what I have to work with? What I try to do is I try to look at color palettes and say, is this gender neutral? Is it too masculine? Is it too feminine? And so what happens is a lot of times we build our base with a neutral palette. And from that neutral palette, when you brand it, you pick colors that are the colors of that property. So literally, we create a color wheel in the beginning with the colors that we think are representational of our brand, of our story, of what we're connecting to in the property, what we're connecting to in the community.